Toby Puddick is a super duper chef. Now I am so lucky because he's coming over here today to teach me a few little tricks and I think it's going to involve with him getting a little nerdy. The reason I've chosen the dish which I've chosen today, which I'll get to in a second, is because yeah. we have these guys, broad beans, right bang in season. Which and these you know are beautiful and small. And so high in protein, so if someone's a veggio, upping the broad beans in the diet. You live off these guys, they're fantastic. Yeah. We're gonna make nudie. Have you heard of that before? I have not heard of it before, but it sounds a little exciting. You <laughs> will hear about it, Lola. <laughs> Nudie's very fashionable, or will be soon. It's been, it's kind of, um, has been the talk of New York without sounding like a you-know-what for a long time now. <laughs> and nudie means nude, and it's yeah. basically like um, a pasta filling without the pasta. Okay. okay, so what we've got here is some ricotta. Yep. And uh, there's a few different types of ricotta. This is the fresh ricotta. You can see it's, it's very, very dense and we've had it sitting in a sieve with a little bit of kitchen paper yep, under there and this yep. has happened overnight just to draw any moisture out. Mm -hmm. Nudie is very very delicate to make and I haven't seen too many people do it on a large scale i.e. restaurant successfully but okay. at home it's a lot of fun. Okay let's do so, it. Why don't you start yeah. with a little bit of nutmeg. What type of cheese have we got here? This would be parmigiano reggiano which okay. is the king of the parmesan. I'm just going to separate this little egg into here. Do you want to get mixy mix yeah, in there? Yeah, of course I do. And then what we're going to do is just put a little bit of plain flour. So we can use gluten-free flour as well for people who've got allergies. So like quinoa flour, millet flour would work. So it's just really used as that binder, right? Correct. So together. how much is this going to make? Like how much are we making for two Th people? This would be two people. Yeah. And I'm glad you asked that question as well because this, this is not yeah. the kind of pasta um, you would have at your local kind of pizzeria where you get a big mound of a million ravioli or yeah. gnocchi or something like this. It's very delicate. Yeah. It's actually quite filling and rich as well because it's straight the ricotta. ricotta. Yeah, protein. So it fills you up straight away. Exactly. We're not going mental with the flour. We're just using a little, little bit. Little bit. Just a little, little, little bit. Yeah. So my friend will cover this now into the fridge for at least an hour. Yep. Um, because it's a cheese, it's been warming up in here yep. and we want to uh, really chill it again so it cooks really well. Can I get you to pop yeah. that? Yeah, of course. All right, Tobes, that's in the fridge chilling. Stage two, sauce okay. time. We have pancetta here, which is flat pancetta, which is my favorite. So I've got a pan, Lola, which is just sitting over here on kind of a low to medium heat. What we want to do is coax a lot of that fat, fat out of the pancetta. Yep. So what will happen is the fat will render out and then it will start to sort of almost fry in its own fat. I reckon we can start rolling some nudie oh, now. Let's do it. Okay, do you want to grab, grab it? it? Yeah. So, you want to get just a little bit of flour on your hand. If just roll it, putting a little bit of pressure there and then just push it down. Just a little bit. Boom. So what I'm going to do with these is just cook them a couple of at a time in the water. And I'm keeping the spoon there so we don't lose them. Because we've got so little flour in there, we don't, as I said before, Was it we that don't... quick? Yeah. Wow. Okay. So let's get them into there. Yep. By actually getting a little bit of a crust on the outside, it gives a real structure and textural component to the beauty as well. And I'm just shaking them just so they don't have time to stick. So now it's simply a matter of getting the ingredients which we've already prepared back, back in. into there. I've got to say, this is one of my favourite dishes in the whole world. So what I want to do is just hit this with just a little bit of, of acidity. And Lola B, that's my little ricotta beauty. Thanks, Tho. You're very welcome. Thanks for having me. Recipes and more at lolaberry.com.